Hello everybody and welcome to another video aimed at helping improve our English fluency in church or generally when speaking God's Word. My name is Misael and I'm a member of the International Light of the World Church, so may the Lord's peace be with you. Before we get started, um, this time we only have three tips. We're trying to shorten our the length of our videos, but we have another three tips coming very soon. They just didn't all fit in this one. Um, and we've also put the time codes in the video description in case you want to come back to something specifically later on. Um, also, please feel free to leave your suggestions, thoughts, and or questions. All contributions are very welcome. Uh, so let's get started. Tip number one, taking church. I'm not actually sure where this expression comes from. I think it's just slang because in Spanish we don't say llevar iglesia. We say llevar la oración when speaking uh, when somebody's taking the prayer and so that would be uh, the most appropriate or correct way of saying it not taking church we want to say either taking the prayer taking the service or taking the prayer service uh, the church is the actual congregation the members of the church and so and so we're not taking them anywhere and so we take the prayer um, a brother mentioned this is kind of maybe something we use in a non-formal environment with maybe our relatives and so it's fine it's fine of course um, but if you get into that habit then you'll probably use it elsewhere as well so taking the prayer as a side note on this same first point um, I would like to add I think that as a whole we should try and be a bit more careful about using slang when we take prayers or just in general because I often hear um, from the from a, a speaker in church I will I will sometimes hear guys the church referred to as guys and it's just not appropriate or or um, towards the end God bless y'all I hear y'all a lot and I don't know if you've heard this maybe it's just me but um, because of the environment we should say God bless you and we and we should speak to the church as the church not guys or or y'all and so it's just something um, that that in which again if you use it somewhere else it might just be carrying over to the prayers or the services um, and also things like uh, if you just say God bless without saying God bless you it's very similar to the expression blessings which a lot of religious people will use but it's something that we don't use and so we should say to the church and to each other God bless you we don't say in Spanish Dios bendiga just like that because the expression um, because we're directing um, or our hope is that God bless someone so God bless you um, and speaking of phrases used by other religious groups or Christians, uh, this brings us to tip number two, English preachers. Uh, in our last video, a brother brought up listening to other preachers in English that he uses um, as a resource for pronunciation of English terms. And, I, and like I told him, I think that it's a great idea if you're looking for the pronunciation. Um, all I would say is that if you're just listening to other English preachers you might pick up expressions or phrases that we don't really use an example is that is blessings a lot of people use blessings and it's something that that we don't use and also some words have an additional meaning behind them or 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 they are shorthand for larger ideas and so like for example Godhead is is often used by people of faith and it has a very Trinitarian aspect to it so it's just some, not the way in which we would refer to God um, also we we don't always use the word saved or regeneration in the same way and so depending on the context those words can be used to illustrate a greater teaching and and so you just want to be sure that if you're unfamiliar with certain words or phrases that you look into them before you pick them up yourself to start using uh, so I wouldn't say don't listen to English preachers because they can be a great resource for pronunciation but also make sure you understand the meaning of words before you pick them up for yourself um, but like we said in our first video your best bet for phrases and expressions is reading the Bible 
and I would suggest reading the Psalms. Um, and, with, and this brings us to tip number three, which Bible? Uh, the NIV seems to be a very popular choice among some groups because it's a simpler language, but there is a bit of controversy with the NIV Bible. Uh, version of the Bible and the main argument against it as far as I've seen is that in an, in an effort to make it easier to understand some words have been replaced or bunched together for example fornication and adultery are separate in most versions of the Bible including the Spanish versions we use uh, but in the NIV version they've been replaced by sexual immorality which I would say means the same thing if you already know that and if you're able to to explain it um, but fornication is a is one sin and adultery is another sin and so if you just bunch them together you might be missing something in those oversimplifications of the NIV and so that's why a lot some groups some religious groups reject it altogether because it's been too simplified um, and so because of my situation of being a missionary and talking to different groups of people, I find it easier to just use the King James Version. And if you need simpler language, the new King James Version uh, replaces the old English in the King James. And that's the, that's the version, new King James. Um, and so far, I've not come across anyone that rejects either the King James or the new King James. And as far as I can tell, the translations or the, um, the simplification of the language is not something that anyone I've come across has had an issue with, like some find with the NIV. I have come across people who don't accept the NIV at all, and so I, in order to just avoid that, I just use King James and New King James. Um, so those are the three tips for this video. Like we've said before, all contributions are welcome. Even if it's something you've figured out already, we invite you to share it with us because it might be of great help to others in the, similar, in the same situation or who have similar doubts. I know I've already learned a lot since we began posting these videos, so God willing, we can continue to help one another improve. Hope this video has helped. Till next time, God bless you.